In this next series of videos, we're going to show you some of the features that we have available in the Pro Landscape 3D Editor. Now, in this video, I'm going to take an image editor project and I'm going to take a planner project and I'm going to create a 3D rendering based on those projects. Now first I have open an image editor project. Now keep in mind that when we're in image editor this is still two dimensional. I, I can't rotate this around and see it from all angles so uh, it's just a two dimensional drawing. A lot of people think that uh, this is a 3D rendering but it is not a 3D rendering until we go into our 3D editor. What we can do is we can take this project and we can create a 3D rendering very easily by going up to the tools menu and going down to create 3D file. Okay, this gives us a horizontal line. Now this line is where the vertical plane and the horizontal planes are going to break and it's going to fold this background picture uh, at that point. So I'm going to come down and I want to hit around the top of the foundation of this home. So I'm going to hit right about the top of this first step here, or the top step, and I'll click there and then it's going to ask me to save that file which is a PL3 file. This is our 3D format file. I'll click Save and then within a few seconds it's going to generate a 3D rendering of our project. The way that we navigate around uh, this 3D image is if I hold the left mouse button down and then I move my mouse from side to side it allows me to turn to rotate that around like so. Okay. If I hold the right mouse button down and move my mouse back, it zooms out, and then forward it zooms in. Okay. Also, if I hold both the left and the right mouse down together, I'm able to move from side to side like this, and I can also change the elevation of the camera just like this. Okay, so that's how we maneuver around our project. Now, if I want to move the, the plants around, I can click on a plant and when I just click on it I can move it around like so. Now we want to be very careful and not move it out too far because it gets to, to be a little bit tough to grab if, if I move it out too far. Okay, you'll see these yellow arrows here. These arrows allow me to slim that plant down or if I want to shrink it like so we can do that and make our adjustments. Okay. We also have the capability in our 3D editor. Now, our 3D editor looks very similar to Image Editor since it has the Content Explorer just like Image Editor. We have the capability to drag and drop a plant right from our library. And when we drag and drop it, we'll need to scale it up to, to an appropriate size like so. If we want to delete that object, we simply right click on it and delete object. Okay, so that's how you transition between Image Editor and our 3D editor. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Planner and I have a, a Planner project uh, already completed here and I'm going to create a 3D rendering. So what we do here is we go to the Tools menu and go down to Create 3D File and here I just simply save it. Okay and then within a few seconds it's going to generate a 3D rendering of this Planner 2D project file. Okay, so there's my, my planner project file. And we navigate around just the same. If I want to scroll in, I just zoom in and I can twirl it around like so. Okay, in later videos, we'll show you how to adjust the house and, and how to add things in here. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to show you at this point how to create that 3D image from a 2D CAD drawing. And uh, check out our other 3D videos. They should be more helpful as far as how to make adjustments here.